Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today I'm going to be showcasing my best props that I made in 2020. So let's get right into it. So the first prop I'm going to be showing off is Lucille from The Walking Dead. Now, I made this in 2020, of course, that's the title of the video, but I made probably up to 8 to 10 of these baseball bats over the course of a few years. And each time I made them, I improved them, tried to make them a bit more screen accurate. And I think it really paid off because I really do think that this looks like the exact Lucille from The Walking Dead. So I am just going to show it off briefly here. But like I said again, I'm going to be giving you guys some nice close-ups of the bat. Honestly, the highlight of the bat is this section, of course, with all the barbed wire. It's very famous for some scenes in The Walking Dead which I probably won't show for you guys just because copyright issues and it's quite violent. Just a small detail for you guys, I actually did put a fake bullet in the bat and that is honestly just a piece of wooden doweling. I don't know how close I can get without it um, not, <laughs> not being blurry, but there it is there. It's actually just a wooden doweling that I put some Sculpey clay on sculpted it, I baked it, and then I hammered it into the bat after drilling a hole, and then I painted it. And I think it looks really good. I think it's a really nice touch. There it is again for you guys. I think it's just awesome. So After Lucille is a really small prop that I built, and this is actually Georgie's paper boat from IT. Now this is quite fragile, so I'm going to be very careful when showing it off to you guys, but Here's a nice close-up for you guys. I'll just do a little nice display. And I actually used, I think it was printer paper, either printer paper or a piece of paper from a sketchbook. And what I did was I stained it with tea and coffee because I wanted to make it look extra old, like really old, like it's been around for a long time. And then after I stained it, I folded it into a paper boat. I actually made some fake blood splatter. I watered it down and splattered it onto the boat, and then I also wrote on the corner there, SS Georgie, which I think is a really nice touch. Overall, that's what it looks like. I think it turned out really good. I think it looks exactly like the prop from the movie. And if you guys are interested in commissions, I would be more than happy to start building some props for you guys. So if you are, definitely let me know either in the comments down below or just reach out to me on my socials. I think one thing that I want to add to this prop is I want to get one of those evidence bags, um, like one of those police evidence bags that they show a lot in kind of like crime movies, thriller movies, or even like crime TV shows. But it says like evidence on the bag and then there's like a little form for you to fill out and it's like a clear plastic see-through bag. And I'd like to put this in it because I think it'd be a really nice touch and it would just make it that much more authentic. Next up after the paper boat is a mask that I made around October of last year. And honestly, I had a lot of fun with this thing. This is Jigsaw's mask from The Punisher. And honestly, I think it just looks really, really cool. I'm super happy with how it turned out. So of course, guys, here is a nice close-up look of what it looks like. I think it looks really professional and I'm just kind of blown away with my own artistic talent. But that's what it looks like, guys. I will, of course, do another nice montage here for you guys. And I got this idea quite randomly. I actually was looking at Halloween masks on Spirit Halloween. The website and I came across a purge mask and I was like hmm what if I picked up this mask and painted it and made it look like the jigsaw mask from the Punisher and this is a prop that I've been wanting to do for <laughs> a very long time and I'm just super happy at how it turned out and I think it looks awesome so there it is on my face guys I know um, it's probably hard to hear my voice but if I can get it up nice and close and that's what it looks like. I think it does look really creepy and it is a little small on my face, but I'm not that nitpicky. Like I would love to use this for a cosplay and I really hope that I can do that someday. So this is the last prop that I'll be showing off today. And this is actually a skateboard and the skateboard shows up in IT Chapter 2. It's what this, um, this little side character 
Um, it's this little boy, he rides it, and um, Bill Denbro actually interacts with him. But you see the skateboard later on in the video, and it's all covered with the red, gross stuff. So I decided to make it for you guys. And this is what it looks like here. Once again, I'll show some nice close-up clips. But honestly, it's not too bad. Um, this is actually the first time I made it. I was starting a second one with some improvements because I do think this does look a little bit messy. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I learned some new painting techniques um, of some dry brushing and wiping away extra paint, paint washing, all that kind of good stuff. And I actually constructed, I used, <laughs> let me start over. I took an old skateboard and what I did was I took it apart and I sanded down all the edges. I filled in the edges with um, wood filler and then I retaped the grip. So this grip is actually almost brand new, which I think looks for my first time. I think it looks really good. And I added the new wheels on here and I just think it looks really good. So those are all the props that I'll be showing in today's video. If you guys have any suggestions for props that you want me to make, just let me know down in the comments down below or you can reach out to me on my socials. I'm pretty excited. I have some projects that I want to start this summer. I have some really cool ideas but I don't want to tell you them quite yet. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was quite different but I had a lot of fun with it. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know, guys. And of course, guys, don't forget to do those three things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.